I'm Laurel Bowman. The five Americans released by Iran arrive home, tearfully embrace their loved ones, and declare freedom. AP correspondent Julie Walker reports. Hopping and cheers in the pre-dawn hours on the tarmac at Fort Belvoir, Virginia, as CMAC Namazi got off the jet first. His brother, Babak Namazi, grateful. It's amazing. un freaking believable We're so grateful to be together. He was held on espionage charges for eight years. The nightmare is finally over. I've, I've dreamt about this moment. The U.S. releasing five Iranians in exchange and unfreezing $6 billion in Iranian oil assets with restrictions on how it can be used. Republicans and others criticizing that part of the deal. I'm Julie Walker. The 78th annual United Nations General Assembly is fully underway as world leaders deliver speeches to the 193-member U.N. General Assembly. Addressing the assembly, U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres says world leaders must take urgent action to address a global mess. Our world is becoming unhinged. Geopolitical tensions are rising. Global challenges are mounting. And we seem incapable of coming together to respond. Journalists reported they were ordered out of the devastated eastern Libyan city of Derna on Tuesday, the day after protesters torched the home of the ousted mayor in fury over the authorities' failure to protect the city from floods. But officials in the administration that runs the east denied they were forcing reporters out of the city. Floods earlier this month in which dams broke killed many thousands. Visit us online for more news. This is VOA News. Canada has expelled an Indian diplomat as it probes a possible link to a Sikh's slaying. AP correspondent Charles de la Desma reports. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has called credible allegations India's government may have had links to the assassination in Canada of a Sikh activist, an accusation that New Delhi rejects as absurd. Canadian Foreign Minister Melanie Jolie tells the media the allegations are not only troubling, but completely unacceptable. If proven true, this would be a grave violation of our sovereignty and of the most basic rule of how countries deal with each other. We've been clear we will not tolerate any form of foreign interference. Jolie says the head of Indian intelligence in Canada has been expelled as a consequence. Now India has expelled a senior Canadian diplomat, accusing Canada of interfering in its internal affairs. I'm Charles de la Desma. Azerbaijan launched military action in the Nagorno-Karabakh region, a step that could presage a new war in the volatile area, but which Baku said was necessary to restore constitutional order and drive out Armenian military formations. Karabakh is internationally recognized as Azerbaijani territory, but part of it is run by breakaway ethnic Armenian authorities who say the area is their ancestral homeland. It has been at the center of two wars, the latest in 2020, since the 1991 fall of the Soviet Union. North Korea says leader Kim Jong-un has returned home from a trip to Russia, where he deepened a comradely fellowship and friendly ties. That's a quote with President Vladimir Putin. More from VOA's Tommy McNeil. The state media report Tuesday did not give many specifics on the six-day trip that was Kim's longest foreign travel as leader. Kim visited several military sites in Russia and said in live comments last week that his country offered full and unconditional support to Putin. His comments in itinerary raised concerns about possible arms deals in which North Korea could provide ammunition for Russia's war in Ukraine and return for receiving Russian technologies to modernize his nuclear weapons arsenals. Tommy McNeil, VOA News. The European Union should deal with a surge in migrants by sealing its borders and rejecting any idea of relocating them within the bloc. That's what Poland's ruling party said Tuesday, as it takes a tough stance on migration before an October election. For more stories, visit us online at voanews.com. I'm Laurel Bowman for VOA News.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.